Hi, I'm Dr. Alan Feller. Dr. Blake Bloxham. Welcome, Blake. And we're from Feller and Bloxham Hair Transplants in Great Neck, New York. And what we're going to talk about today is what else? Hair transplants. That's what Figures. we talk about every day, all day. That's what we do. They're probably sick of it by now. We should talk about something else. Well, then why are they here? That's true. All That's right. true. <laughs> and, hey, today we're going to go into a play-by-play -play video about a patient we'd already done a hair mm -hmm. transplant on years ago and has now fully grown out. But I wanted to go through a few of the steps that we think of when we're planning his procedure. And we're not going to show you any blood and guts, gore, or any surgical stuff in this set of videos. We'll make another set of videos. For yeah, that. those are different ones for another day. Yeah, you'd be surprised how many people actually love the, the, the gore of the surgery. Mm -hmm. Um, I guess which I'd, say is, which I'd say is minimal in general. It's yeah, not it's a, right, not right. a very... Yeah, it's, it, it's really not... Horror, uh, horror fans will be disappointed. Uh, exactly. We, remember, we only work about that deep. Four millimeters. Skin. First four millimeters. Uh, on we go. You'll see, by the way, that you're looking at the same screen we're looking. When we're yeah. looking here, we're not just kind of fading in our attention. We're actually looking at the same screen you're looking at through the magic of software. So we're looking at the same guy you're looking at. And this is a young man. He was in his early 30s from the UK, I believe believe. Mm -hmm. um, so look at him with an accent. He, he, uh, he had a great head of hair. I mean, you can tell he had a wonderful head of hair. I'm going to use the pointer here. Wonderful head of hair. He still has the first thing I look at, I don't know about you, is I look at the sides. Whenever a new patient comes in, I look at their side hair. That gives me a good indication of what their donor area looks like and where they really mm -hmm. started. And with him, I think you might agree, it, it looks like pretty good. I mean, this looks like somebody who um, was pretty young and hasn't lost any hair on the sides at all. Oh, no, his sides like are perfect. Not only that, he's got, he's got high sides. You know, he yes. doesn't look like a guy who's ever going to have that, that aggressive Norwood six or seven pattern where those sides drop this way. Most likely not, nice at least not in his sides. young years, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. And most of the time you see, happen. anything can happen. But what I've noticed is guys who have those very aggressive patterns, particularly the seven pattern, generally by about 30, you can see some thinning here, you see some dropping he there, the you Norwood see some up scale the neck, the seven. Norwood scale. Yeah, that's what he means. Sorry. So he's probably just beginning. I think he's probably going to lose at least all of this. Yeah, I think know, it's to say that. Like, that. A, like a band, like his forehead will go all the way up to here. Well, I agree because you can see you know, he's starting off with that classic pattern that we discussed uh, two videos ago where there's the hair loss starts in the corners and works kind of upward and pinches the, in the German pincer the German movement, pincer movement. World World II. um but and then leaving him with that mohawk in the middle but you can see that he also has some thinning in the mohawk here so I right. think I agree with Clearly. you that he's likely going to have at least up to that that first third I would say right. there is going to be likely I'll, I'll go unless he as a transplant. So what we did, and we're not going to show you the surgery picture in this video, but what we did is we, we filled these corners and reinforced this area here. Yeah. Essentially, we did the whole thing, almost like a rounded triangle mm -hmm. is what we filled. And he came back in about two years later, and we took some video. And you can see that now. I'll roll it. Beautiful. So here we are combing. I'm just going to pause it. But you can see now that we're combing through. I think that's my hand right there. Does that match? Yeah, it's yours. Um, so... You can see this area that's now being held up. I know it's a little blurry, but I think anybody looking at this can tell that the area that was almost totally bald now looks almost totally normal. Maybe a little bit thinner than when he was a kid, but certainly nothing that catches the eye. Let's continue that video. And you see how the hair is just spilling back over itself, as hair should. And we'll do it one more time. See how the hair spills back. Yeah. So again, just to remind you, there's the before. And now, of course, when he combs his hair together, he gets an even thicker effect. Mm -hmm. So it's almost impossible to tell where his R and R's are. And you can see he had no hairline. So now if you were to look at him at a wedding, you know, or you just videoed somebody at a gathering, this is how he would look. He yeah. looks like he has a normal head you of hair, almost no like idea. your hair, almost as yeah. good as yours. And it doesn't have that old tufty look. It has a nice, natural, soft look to it. It doesn't oh, call attention no, to no, itself. No, no, you'd, no. You'd never know. And again, you can see uh, on the video, this is how he would look if mm -hmm. someone, and here we, we just combed his hair forward. And then we put some before and after shots together, the stills, so you can actually see the difference. I mean, these, these differences are radical. Yeah. Oop. Oops, that's my bad. I'll cut that out. See a nice soft hairline yeah, here. close up there of his, his hairline. And that's it. Just just a quick play-by-play. -play. Uh, not nothing too uh, surgery, nothing too medically. But if you're losing your hair and you've been through Rogaine, Propecia, shampoos, ointments, you know all the Holcomb that they've been selling out there, and you're finally ready to 
do something about to it get, that really works. To get this to go from this yeah. to this. There's no there's no pill, potion, lotion in the world that's going to take you from that to that. In my humble yeah. opinion, find a experienced hair transplant clinic, one that's been, that's done a thousand or two thousand of these, that is out there uh, educating the public, showing them what they're doing, and being transparent. And you may get your hair back as well. As always, I'm Dr. Alan Feller. Dr. Blake Bloxham. We're a Feller and Bloxham hair transplant, soon to be the Feller and Bloxham rock bands. That's another <laughs> video again. Take care.